Good morning. Welcome to this second uh, Data World Workshop talk on uh, data driven prediction systems in uh, transportation. Let me introduce myself first. My name is uh, Michal Zabowski and I'm dealing with data in uh, different applications for 24 years. This is of course not an expertise, but it's good background for understanding changes in this research field. During this speech, I want to introduce data-driven concepts in uh, ITS applications, especially in applications using significant uh, data resources and artificial intelligence. As the title of this presentation suggests, data will be a main topic. So we will start directly by defining data specifics in uh, transport systems. Data are, in principle, sources for all algorithms and applications in transportation. But they originate in different parts of a modeled environment. Infrastructure is providing, uh, static, uh, it's providing data from static devices, such as uh, inductive loops, sensors, cameras, or adaptive traffic signs. Cars and uh, specific networks, car to car, car to infrastructure, and so on, provides mostly dynamic portion of data changing quickly over the time. Video and uh, image data are very popular these days, mostly because of bro broadband uh, wireless connection and the fact that image data are for humans natural source of information, and there is lots of them uh, on images. Personal devices are a useful source of information provided by respective users. And traditional data source comes as models and predictions, mostly as solutions of operation research problems. Finally, another traditional source of data are maps and uh, geographic data, uh, for example, GPS coordinates. Data are changing in specific manner. Data velocity is a term from one of the big data definitions is a very good example of this situation. We must deal with static data, transient data and dynamic data if we want to solve complex transportation problems. In ideal case, all the data types work together for complex application. Let's have a look at uh, intelligent transportation uh, systems, which is one of the uh, examples of previously mentioned complex applications, or better say, set of applications. On this screen, you can see general ITS definition, better mo monitoring, control, and information distribution by using technologies is idea behind all the solutions labeled as ITS. Of course, ITS can be involved only in partial problem solving. Important assumption for ITS is existence and use of wireless or mobile network infrastructure since we are dealing with static and dynamic part of transportation system. According to Sussman, we can distinguish between six fundamental ITS components. Advanced transportation management systems, advanced traveler information systems, advanced vehicle control systems, business vehicle management, uh, advanced public transportation systems, advanced urban transportation systems, and uh, that's all. I hope you agree with uh, this general definition. Even you can find some specific not mentioned components by yourself. Now we are going to look at the term data-driven. Dictionary definition of the term data-driven is uh, determined by or dependent on the collection of analysis of data. So we are back at the beginning. Presented picture shows data-driven methodology categories. That's basic categories. As you can see, there are some new terms such as learning, fusion, and data mining. 
These are concepts for data science or engineering, if you want, and are just partially related to traditional topics of operational research. But since we have data somewhere, it's uh, good to do something with it. You can find some examples in the dark blue part of the slide. Since the picture comes from article mentioned below and you can identify Chinese name as uh, the editor, examples are tightly connected to specific of China. For other countries, there would be some modifications according to preference or applications. Okay, let's go back to transportation problems. What are main challenges? From a general point of view, it's a dynamic and uncertain environment. Remember your last traffic jam. Lack of effective motivation. Will you share your traffic information by your smartphone? And of course, security and privacy. That's not surprising. We can also mention uh, varying network topologies, wireless channel states, and computing workload, workload if we are talking about technologies. Traditional solutions are based on linear programming. Those fundamental terms are resources, locations, and probably transportation nodes. This is traditional view to transportation problem. You are probably familiar with the white picture too. It's a traditional transportation problem visual representation. Nevertheless, technical problem is how to design task scheduling algorithm with reasonable computational complexity and performance. It has something to do with dynamic resource utilization, let's say optimal programming. How can data help us with this problem? Let's try to utilize some less traditional, but better say almost traditional data processing concepts. Let's involve some new intelligence to problem solving. Artificial intelligence is a very popular concept today. It means there are different definition, definitions, expectations, opinions, lovers and haters, and lots of mystifications. So let's start with definition. Artificial intelligence was uh, good defined by Marvin Minsky as the science of making machines do things that would require intelligence if done by man. Hmm. This looks very human-like, but artificial intelligence is more mathematics than uh, human. Remember this when you will talk to Siri again. Artificial intelligence and its special, very useful subs subset called, called machine learning using algorithms for different tasks during the problem-solving process. Algorithms are based on observation. Yes, I mean data. Using specific processing steps uh, called learning. And finally, product or result called effect or action. And all actions are defined by data during the learning process. It's good to mention that uh, artificial intelligence is not cure for all diseases, but it's very good for applications where it's problematic to define some static patterns or algorithms. This image for, from uh, tipsmake.com describes how artificial intelligence, machine learning, and deep learning are related. Sometimes it's quite confusing to distinguish correctly between them. Artificial intelligence is the common name for a program that can sense, reason, act and adapt, of course, in parentheses. Machine learning is a subset of artificial intelligence which includes uh, algorithms whose performance improve as they are exposed to more data over time. Hmm. This looks promising to us. And finally, deep learning is a subset of machine learning in which multi-layered neural networks learn from waste amount of data. Shortly, shortly it's some kind of uh, artificial intelligence magic. 
So how could data help us? In comparison with traditional data processing algorithms, machine learning algorithms are working with two types of inputs. Input parameters that describe an environment or let's say impulses or situations are called factors. Deci decisions are recorded actions or results that appear in situations described by factors. From database point of view, they are different uh, columns of the same row of data. Factors and decisions together are parts of large data set, sets collected for specific purpose. Do you remember some analytical courses? And its data comes from, uh, in ITS, data comes from different domains following data sources presented on fourth slide and some other sources too. You probably feel that in such case, data preparation process is even more important than in traditional approaches. In fact, it's not far from traditional data exploration and preparation process, but in most cases is very important, uh, help by a domain expert. Uh, for example, medical doctor, infrastructure planner, driver, dispatcher, and do some data and information visualization methods come handy. Not even less important uh, is final data cleaning process and const construction of final data set for, you will see learning. All the steps are having iterative uh, character and are quite time consuming, but the effect of good data is really incredible. Okay, now you see it. Learning, as I mentioned uh, on the previous slide, and its uh, phases. Learning process is only the name. In reality, computers cannot, cannot learn. Again, artificial intelligence is mathematics, not biological science. But the name comes from the data processing task, which will be able to transfer factors to decisions. There are different methods involved, some very simple, uh, use distance metrics. This process is displayed in orange, more or less, and is called model training. Model evaluation is using another data or data portion. To evaluate model predictions, if it's good enough, decisions is on you, you can deploy model. Good habit, and in machine learning uh, necessary habit, is to receive some feedback from real environment, better say data, and try to improve model using new enriched data set. Sometimes it is leading to even more drastic changes in parameters or algorithms. Overall classification on, of uh, artificial intelligence in ITS is presented on this picture. You can see knowledge base systems more traditional than, than machines learning ones, including expert systems, intelligent data analysis, and intelligent agents. More sophisticated methods, if you want, are presented by supervised learning, including classification, prediction, and dual use. Here, methods called black box methods. Unsupervised learning includes pattern recognition and clustering. Specific algorithms or method names for appropriate methods are in dark blue boxes. Let's check uh, artificial intelligence use in ITS. As you probably expected, one of the most popular use is in automated driving. Sorry for not using the term autonomous, but they are not. It's, uh, it is level of five only. But it is uh, number three on our list. What about number one and two? Yes, uh, the use of artificial intelligence is in other, maybe more common application areas according to ITS. First one is traditional planning, management and control or infrastructure development, if you want. In use, are uh, artificial intelligent algorithms for predictions and detection models. 
in public transportation a significant amount of uh, behavioral inputs. This is a set of problems well suitable for machine learning or deep learning in extreme. Honestly speaking, common aim of all applications is very simple. Overall productivity improvement. It's so business-like. One of the uses of artificial intelligence in uh, ITS uh, is sensor data processing. It is useful for processing infrastructure data, future condition, condition or state prediction, and planning. As for now, it is quite traditional use. Since we are talking about artificial intelligence, methods are a bit different than traditional ones. Supervised learning methods include support vector machines, probabilistic neural networks, k-nearest neighbor, and decision trees. First two methods are called black box methods. The interpretation is very complicated and, in many cases, impossible. Other two are methods with very good interpretation and can be used in case when we need explanation of our decisions mostly in situations when we are dealing with some regulator, regulatory authorities. Unsupervised learning methods for sensor data processing are mostly clustering methods. Variety of optimization problems uh, is solved by using of some evolutional concept uh, methods. Good for urban planning, it's genetic algorithms, uh, heuristic methods, here uh, simulated annealing, living organism motivated methods good for working with inaccuracy uh, in and uh, wow concept in transportation, such as ant colony optimization, artificial immune system, or bee colony optimization, and even by using fuzzy logic models suitable for shortest path problem and comparable with logistical regression results. You can find more in article mentioned at the bottom of this slide. Infrastructure planning, safety and prediction models are other problems suitable for artificial intelligence. Problem is defined by constraints and limitation, expected impact of transportation to nature, social environment, economy and others, and usually is quite hungry for computational resources. AI methods used in uh, f uh, this field are artificial neural networks and genetic algorithms. But not only before mentioned uh, methods are in use. Other approaches involve cellular automata, simulated annealing, artificial immune system, and colony optimization and B colony optimization models. Artificial neural networks and genetic algorithms have good balance between classical transportation network requirements, requirements for safety, and modality level. Artificial neural networks are good for centralized control and management to, for example, traffic uh, lights optimization and good results are obtained by using uh, reinforced learning. Finally, ant colony optimization and bee colony optimization methods are very suitable, well su uh, suitable for route planning. Last two problems, uh, problem areas are incidence detection and predictions in general. For Incidence detection is good to use image processing techniques. Quite important is not to detect incidents in the final stage, but identify also called near-missed incidents, which can help us detect some problem, problems in advance. Artificial intelligence methods used are classification, neural, neural networks, object detection algorithms, simulations, and surprisingly or not, social media analysis. For predictions is important time factor. They are prepared in short, middle or long time perspective. Methods used here are 
feed-forward neural networks, object-oriented neural networks, deep neural networks, they are good for traffic flow prediction, support vector machine and multi-layer neural networks. All the methods mentioned earlier are summarized on this slide. As you can see, there are lots of different models and it's almost impossible to have deep knowledge in all the AI models. Luckily, there are good data processing tools and the libraries for a variety of languages with ease of use for each of the problem. Maybe one specific note. During the automated driving car must car be able to recovery from operation software and sensor errors, socialize interaction with environment, learn, drive, configure, and integrate with other ITS parts. In summary, this is the well-known process called perception, planning, and control. And maybe you heard of it. Maybe one philosophical question. How artificial intelligence sees the world? That is a very complicated question. Sometimes we can somehow understand the way it, let's say, thinks or decide, for example, for decision trees, algorithms, but sometimes it is impossible. In case of uh, neural networks, maybe with the exception of very, very simple networks. So the question is, how much we are going to believe artificial intelligence? Try to answer to yourself. Maybe some hint. If you are using modern, com modern cameras on your smartphones, they are using artificial intelligence to produce final picture. Is it the reality or the artificial product? Now I'm going to introduce in short some current topics related to data-driven applications in ITS. First, quite promising concept known from automated, or if you want, want autonomous cars, is concept of high-definition maps. In principle, it is concept of map enriched for additional data with different time factor. You can see some example on a picture with the identification of uh, some static elements. As you can see, it's based on real infrastructure model reconstructed from point cloud obtained by 3D scanning. Better view to HD maps is on this slide. HD maps is uh, reporting different objects, including real-time objects. Each layer represents different group of data and different time factor. It is clear that such integrated data source can be very useful for other kinds of IT, ITS problems. Let's have a short look to HD maps use. HD maps can be used for different purposes, such for preliminary calculations, safety, can be can work as a virtual sensor. and global data source. Bingo! This is the most interesting use for data-driven applications. So maybe in some close future we will have a good presentation on this topic. My colleagues are working with this concept already, so maybe. Already mentioned important group of technologies includes communication networks. We need to work in interconnected environment if we want to create modern, robust and useful data-driven applications for ITS. 
Important technologies come with 5G and other next-generation networks capable to deliver HD video data and then accommodate specific computer vision artificial intelligence algorithms for problem solving. As you can see here, uh, we are including dynamic and static part of uh, ITS system here. So we can see a moving train and static sensors and infrastructure. Finally, security is an integral part of every system development these days, including ITS applications. You can find good source of information in NSA report mentioned in the reference section, as well as in documents provided by World Road Association, in short, PRC. Uh, you probably remember I'm working in task for 3.1, Infrastructure Safety and Security. Some of the attack scenarios are targeted directly against artificial intelligence. Let's have a quick look at some of them. Sensor jamming, spoofing and blinding or saturation may cause incorrect data flow to artificial intelligence model and thus manipulate with results. Denial of service uh, or its distributed version is a way how to make devices blind. It is one of the top problems for autonomous or automated cars. Manipulated communications may again modify decisions or of uh, artificial intelligence and change expected behavior. And finally, information disclosure is problem very good known these days. Some evaluation criteria for attacks are overall impact, ease of detection, cascade effect risk, assets affected, stakeholders involved, recovery time and effort, gaps and challenges, attack steps, and countermeasures. Let me identify some areas important for transportation applications implementation in a short future from my point of view and from point of view of data. I can see main challenges in Europe in two main areas. In strategies, uh, it is mostly about transportation policy or preferable modes if you want. Decarbonization effort, changed mobility patterns, COVID changed uh, even this, and safety and security since everything is interconnected now. In technologies, it is new generation of communication networks naturally supporting data, HD video, and connecting for fast moving parts of ITAs. It's cars, trains, UAVs, and others. Infrastructure itself, including new devices and elements for autonomous and intelligent systems. Okay, what was uh, future in year 2019? You can check some uh, Gartner's predictions here and compare them with current situation. As you can see, some kind of autonomous thinking, uh, augmented analytics, AI-driven uh, development, and uh, other things are tightly connected with data and artificial intelligence. And even more typical view to Gartner hype cycle, if you prefer this one. Okay, this is maybe topic for discussion. You can see here some of the topics from artificial intelligence and you can uh, try to put them on the right point on the curve. Okay, we are at the end of my presentation. 
We discuss data in their different forms, sources of data, transportation problems, and even intelligent systems for transportation. I want, wanted to point out your view to artificial intelligence method suitable for large data processing with good results in transportation. Useful references come here. You can find more detailed information in there if you want. So I want to thank you very much for your attention. Feel free to contact me by email shown on this slide if you want, or during the question and answer session after this presentation. Good luck and stay strong.